Alright folks, welcome back. It's Mysterious JG here, and it's time to put this game to rest. One last opportunity to try to hard target hire Zhuge Liang. Nobody can do it. So we are going to transport troops from other cities to our front lines. Pay can't hold any more troops, huh? Okay, let's try this again. Let's just do a campaign to get this over with. Central Plains is the only place we can campaign for. So, uh, we can get 20 units involved. That's all the food we can take. I'm going to take some gold. Plenty of gold. Pu Yang can get involved in this. be nice if they could have had more than that troop buys, but they can't. Give everybody lots of gold so that they can uh, build camps and stuff, because I think that was one of the problems I had before. Is that nobody was building camps, or I was running out of food and I'm not realizing that camps are an important part of this. Falger is going to have a kick-ass army in this one. I'm expecting much from you in this, Falger. Do not screw this up. Shinsai, you too should... really don't have an excuse not to do well here. I've got... I've been favoring you pretty openly throughout this thing. And you will even be able to carry uh, Wood Oxen army super power. So you've got no excuse not to crush everybody. <laughs> kind of throwing it all in here. Luling Kui, you should be a pretty dominant force in this. You've even got Wood Oxen. Wood Oxen is going to be the key to victory here, folks. And thank you once again to whoever actually pointed out the, what that number at the bottom means so that I can... Yeah, you don't really have a very good army in that city. I didn't do a very good job getting that one set up. There's a city that's maxed out its gold. Well, it hasn't maxed out its gold, but it's got more gold than my army guys can carry. Chang'an. Oh, some of these cities were giving away troops. Oh well, I mean, I'm going to have so many troops marching, they can't all be the best troop ever.
they don't really have that many troops there. Shang Zhang, I'd love to get Shang Zhang and uh, Sun Tzu has to get involved. We'll go ahead and give Shang Zhang an invite too. Lusu, not a very high-ranked officer, unfortunately, so he doesn't get to uh, take full advantage of all the troops that that city has. Cao Cao will have some pretty... Hua Yang gets to get involved. Does she have wood oxen? Ironically, no. One sad issue with all of this is the fact that uh, Cao Cao's troops... He should have some pretty much maxed out units uh, marching for him because he's got some really good officers that are left. 56k, 84k, Hong Kong Song. I mean, he's got a lot of really good officers even considering how badly depleted his force is. So there's not going to be a lot of guys left sitting around in South South cities that are not a part of this campaign. I should have gotten more officers there. Shows so the only guy there who can do anything. Jiao Chan, of course, have to get involved. And she can even have extra food. How about snacks for the army? And one more. Whoever they are, this last unit's gonna have a long march to get to the battle, so it almost doesn't matter. We'll give Lord Chance a, a chance, as it were, to get back into this battle. So we got 20 units. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Because uh, he's the Emperor. Yeah, it is the title of your ruler that, depend that determines how many units you can command. And because Sun Tzu is the Emperor, apparently you can have 20. And we're going up against Cao Cao. We'll have a maximum of three, four, five, six, seven, eight units. So I should win this. Wu's army has declared a campaign for Nei Bay. And of course, their response is hostile. We will go to the next screen. So I'm badly outnumbered at the start of this thing because turns of false information. That should stun the enemy a bit. Rumor of revolt is spreading around. Forget about it. It's simple trickery. The only way they can win this thing is if they take the one city that I start out with here. So if they attack this city, I'm in trouble. Or rather, if they take the city, I'm in trouble. So he is going to stay put. Zhou Yu's troop of Wu's army has arrived. Nei Bei shall soon be ours. Yuan Chang's troop. Just the size of the army. We need not fear these common rogues. The rogues! So they have eight troops. We're going to have more than twice that. Probably will not have that much more than twice his troop count, though. Chi Hao Dun's force of 90,000 against... Oof, this isn't going to go my way. But I could probably come down here and help out. Matter of fact, I should have moved them down here earlier if I'd realized... Yeah, here we go. We're eventually going to run into problems if I can't deploy all my troops at once. Fight with honor! Hey, you're not going to be able to sabotage shit. Tsao is certainly doing pretty good with morale boosting stuff. Old man Zuo, hey, he's going to be around up until the very end. So, Falger and uh, Hua. I thought it was going to be Jing Tsai. Falger and his old friend Huan Jie are going to surround Ji Hao Dun. And really, to me, it's more important to get rid of troops than it is to take the cities. I can take the cities at my leisure. 
just for one ping, whose father is dead. It's so sad. He was killed by our army, though, so... And you can't really do much of anything. So just kind of clear the path for others. Who's that? That must be on our side. Otherwise, I, I should be really, really in a panic right now. Who's this? Leon Schur. One of the creative characters who does not have a human player who is backing them. They're just kind of there. Now I've got them outnumbered and I've only got half my troops here. Too bad that we all chose to come in the same way. Uh, Joe, you's in trouble. 48,000 strength. Outnumbered by both of these cities. Both of these troops. Yeah, Joe, you may not personally get to win this thing, but, uh... Get some more troops over. Some more Wu guys over here. And they're still trying to get people to rebel. This is more like it. This is where I really want some guys to start showing up. I've got more troops here than I can fit on the map. Meanwhile, I'm going to start running out of food. Zhang Zhao showed up all the way over here. He's even farther away from being able to do anything useful. Zhang Zhang's troop has arrived. Diao Chan's troops. They're all arriving over here where I can't do anything with them. Dark has got a bit of a cold. Basically, want to defeat his troops. Cities and stuff can wait. I still don't have all of my troops here yet. I've only got 18 uh, units. The others probably can't take their position because they're being blocked by troops that are already here. And they can t 
continue to try to make that city revolt. She captured a spy. Great. Oh, I don't control Shang Jang. Because uh, she's from a different district. Lower chance has got around 140. It will be nice to destroy Jihad Dunes unit eventually, eh? In a couple of years from now. <laughs> Zhu Ling. Zhao Yu's, Zhou Yu's troop of Wu army has defeated Zhu Ling's troop. Okay. Everybody retreat. Still waiting for one more army to arrive. Sun Tzu's army doesn't look like it's moving. Oh, there it is. Oh, cool. I think it arrived over where it'll be useful. Nay, Bay shall soon be ours. You can't fool the daughter of Lu Bu. I'm a ruined strategist. getting in each other's way at this point. Oh, there's since uh, he didn't actually show up someplace cool after all. He's just kind of showed up right where everyone else showed up. Maybe we want to start spreading out and attacking several cities at once. Oh, this is Cao Cao. Oh, man, it's been wiped out. Oh, this, this isn't going to go that well. I was just thinking that we shouldn't all crowd around this one city, but... We could all get wiped out trying to fight Cao Cao. You want Chang's unit, it looks like it's going to get defeated. Lord Chance is going to help Zhou Yu against Zhuo Hei. Okay, continue to wait for opportunities to sneak in. Master Lord Chance, I'll leave the rest to you. Oh, crap. See how Dune continues to try and get guys to revolt. Tao Tao has fled over here.
I do have them outnumbered three to one. It's really tough to get my troops into useful positions here. Yeah, Dune's pretty much out of uh, magical powers, too. He's constantly trying to get my uh, city to revolt. Lord Chance's unit looks like it's going to get wiped out before this is over, sadly. I was never going to make it without losing some troops, but... They really want Beihai to revolt. Beihai's like, man, things are so much better under Wu than they were under you guys. Oh no! A rumor of revolt is spreading around. Tch, I guess we have no choice. Slowly march. Slowly march. Slow the march and watch the surroundings carefully. Aww. Did we've been tricked. Man Chong will be fighting to the bitter end for Cao Cao, it looks like. some false information. Yeah, whatever. Their turn has been delayed, but... Might as well, uh... raise our attack power before we attack again, because these guys probably aren't going to last that much longer. Help us finish off Man Chong. Ching Tsai will show her might. Hopefully. Ching Tsai's troop of army is defeated. Shi Hao Dun's troop of Cao Tsai's army. Our troop has been destroyed. We must street retreat. Hold on, where can you go? <laughs> Guess there's no place for you to go. No place for any of these guys to go until we take that city. Lord Chance's unit is definitely going to get wiped out. Love your hat, Chang Yu. <laughs> Gotta take the city, or guys will never, ever be able to deploy properly. Excited for the chance to get killed.
Yay, Huang Yue Ying's troop has occupied Ping Yuan. Should allow most of my army to deploy. Jiao Dun has been captured. I must occupy seven more cities. But I'm concentrating on wiping out the troops. Oh no, Yan Liang's unit's been wiped out. Zhou Yu's. Oh, and so I'm, I'm gone too. My brother! Myself! Zhu Hei has been captured. Yay! Zhu Hei's troop has been destroyed. And stuff. As you want, Chang, I leave the rest of you. You want Chang's units not doing that hot either. Vulture Bobo has been wiped out. No dueling for you, Vulture Bobo. No duels in this entire LP for Vulture Bobo. It's very sad. Oh, he can't use any uh, really cool tactics. Like Excite. Oh, well. He's going to get wiped out anyway. And he's been taken prisoner. So we lost our first troop, and it was Yuan Shang from uh, Zhu Chang. <laughs> We're slowly but surely going to be able to deploy our our troops. Uh, Jay Gorky, oh no! Is Jay Gorky even watching this LP? I don't think so. Lord Chance's troop of army has failed in their attempt to occupy Shangdang, so Lord Chance is gone. Our troop has been destroyed! We have no choice, everybody! I mean, uh, how did Masumine Date talk? Our troop has been destroyed! He wasn't quite that bad, but... There were notes of that, uh, Liu Kong and his, uh, performance. I, Jing Tai, have something against Cheng Yu! Apparently. Yay, Luling Key's truck just wiped him out. Luling Key has wrecked these toys. And now the Iron Sure is going to get to wipe out Man Chong. Or at least to to help move in that direction. Zhang Xiao's troop has run out of food. Morale is dropping quickly. Falzer's troop has run out of food. Yeah. Obviously, this was going to be a problem. Zhang uh, Xiao. Bulger's troops are starting to collapse. Oh no! That's actually pretty bad news. 70,000, 97,000. Yikes. I don't know if I want to go messing with Cao Cao. Not until I've got him surrounded. 
You got morale left? Yeah, but no food. Your morale's gonna start plummeting. Yeah, I need to be building camps and stuff, but I figured I would uh, wipe out all these units and then build some camps, maybe. I don't understand how supply lines in the campaign work. Obviously, you're supposed to be able to get more food, but... Lulin Key's troop is defeated Gao Shen's troop. That's pretty cool. I got the weakest possible units attacking Cao Cao here. There's only two troops left. One of them is Cao Cao's. They've got really good morale for whatever reason. Mr. Zhangzhou, I cannot go on. Oh, they wiped out that whole troop. Zhangzhou's unit's been destroyed. Well, she hates Cao Cao's stinking guts. She should be able to, to do some damage eventually. And Falzer would be a good choice to fight Cao Cao. Because he's got a big unit. He's got the big one. Actually, his units start to fall apart. Meanwhile, you guys start attacking the city the cities. The Ancher is out of troops. Yeah, pretty much everyone's out of food and morale. Even Hong Yue Ying sadly does not have wood oxen. Jing Tsai has morale and food and stuff, but Cao Cao's already surrounded by other guys, so. And where's Cao Cao's last unit? Last unit of Cao Cao's army will be Zhang Liao. Lang, now the enemy should know the strength of our family. Leave it to me, brother. Ooh, we got multiple soons, and they've confused Cao Cao. Excellent. Oh, he should he should clack, collapse quickly now. Lu and Kui's run out of food, though. And they're, they have decreased defenses someplace that they will never be in a position to attack. So that's great. Well, Falzer was going to come down here and help out, but uh, maybe these guys can go get started on uh, Zhang Liao. We've got to finish off Cao Cao, always confused. Mistress Huang Yue Ying, I will lick your boots at your command. No, I mean, um, I am counting on you, Mistress. Whatever. Sorry, folks, that was the wrong kind of mistress. Hey, we've occupied Nan-P. Six more cities to go. Jing Tsai is leading an attack on some other people.
that's not a city, that's just a base. Let's go down here and deal with my old friend Chang Liao. I owe you for something. Building a camp. That should help with the food situation somehow that I don't understand. So we've got to take over all of this stuff. This will probably be the last city to fall all the way up here. I believe we'll have enough to take care of Zhang Liao without Leon sure needing to get involved. It's hard to say for sure. He's still at 20,000 strength. He's still at 7,000 strength. There we go. Sun Sheng Zhang has managed to defeat Cao Cao. We must retreat. Cao Cao's troop has been destroyed, but he was not captured. So Zhang Liao is it for the enemy army. The last man standing for Wu or Wei is Zhang Liao. Seems appropriate enough. Let's, uh... Let's get excited before we attack. The enemy is weak. Yeah. Same deal with you. Get excited. Although you don't have enough to do that. Oh, you do. Rouse. They're excited. Yay, we've occupied Shandang. Sao P and some other dudes have been captured. Yeah, I'm sure I was hoping could head up here, but it looks like you're gonna have to take this path. What unit is this, Tiao Chan? With her deep-seated hatred of Zhang Liao that I've decided she has for some reason. Everybody's excited, so... Build an outpost. Because we're excited, we'll build an outpost. That made sense. So, we're long since we're running out of food, but... Whatever, there's stuff to be done. Food has run out? Oh no. Where are these other cities? There's just... I gotta take out this city, and then there's a bunch of forts. Forts we don't have to take out. Sure it would be nice to... build a fort someplace, though. To get some morale back. That would be excellent at this point. Oh no, troops are getting wiped out by Zhang Liao. Mr. Folger! We've occupied Ji, their last big city. Captured some dudes, including Cao Zhen. BMR Calamity. Chu Zhu, Retardo. Sorry that I didn't create his Dynasty Warriors character. Four more cities, huh? There's the one Zhang Liao's in, there's this one. I guess there's two, yeah, there's two more up here. Guess 
they can try to come over here and help with this city. Falzer's unit is going to probably be wiped out before Zhang Liao goes down, it looks like. That city's done. So what happens if they just wait here? Do they get food? I don't know. Okay, so we've won the game. It's the... Uh, I mean, in theory, we could run out of troops while Zhang Wei has been wiped out. In theory, we could run out of troops while trying to take the last city because of heavy desertion, but I really don't think we'll lose that many. We defeated Zhang Liao's troop. Falzer managed to do it, so good for you, Falzer. You did it before your unit could collapse. Meanwhile, building that fort doesn't seem to have automatically given us food. Maybe we need to wait around. I'm just anxious to end this now. Actually, I kind of need to get to bed. Fawzer's unit will probably be wiped out while we try to take this city. <laughs> That's it, Cao Cao's army's been destroyed, so all that's left between us and domination is finishing off the cities themselves. There's no point in taking that thing out. Although I got nothing else for this unit to do, really. Oh, so you're just going to go hang around down there, Shang Jang, instead of attacking? You want to get food for your troops because you understand how that works? Fine. Be that way. We're going to be that woo. You go ahead and be that way. Mrs. Wang Yue Ying, I leave the rest of you and the wood oxen. Taking Bei Ping. Three more cities. Two of them are already surrounded, so there's really one more city. Now there's two more cities, really one more city. Hey, we captured Liu Chan and Zhen Ji. Liu Chan, known for getting hotter girlfriends than he deserves. I wonder if he was dating Zhen Ji at this point. Two more cities. So we'll have one last mad scramble to get to, uh... With people tripping over each other trying to get to this, uh, city. I'm trying to get to Gangzung Zan's old capital. Oh shit, this thing is gonna be in the way too. I don't think there's any way around this except to go straight through it. And then I don't even know how many turns it's going to take to surround Jiang Pang Ping. Oh, well, it's going to be a long video, folks, but it'll be the end video for everything. Epic epicness. This city, how much has this got left? That'll fall before anyone can get there. Oh, are you gonna help out now, Shang Jang? Mr. Swang Yue Yang, no! So 
Christensen, not doing very much. You ain't showing me much, Warriors. Okay, we took over a fort, which was somehow destroyed rather than being made useful to us. We apparently just tore the whole thing down. Now Shang Jang's gonna end up taking the credit for this. Destroying that city if it gets destroyed in her turn. You're just going auto. No, I don't want to put you on auto because I don't know what the hell you'll do. Jiao Chan's conditions return. A lot of people have returned to normal. Why didn't you just attack? We would have taken over the city if you just attacked. Well, at least this means that she won't get credit for destroying it. Zhou Yu took over the city, actually. Doom Screamy has been cabinered. Doom Screamy and Yang Sandwich. Lu Jun. Why was Lu Jun working for them? Oh well. Zhuge Liang? Are you hiding in here, Zhuge Liang? I was gonna make my sworn brother. Xi Hao Zhuan. Yuan Xiao was in there. now, but we've won. I just need to keep on marching, I guess. Just sit around in these cities until I get food, I guess. Is that what I need to do? I can do that. Yeah, I get troops by just sitting around in the cities and outposts, I guess. and not necessarily morale, but everybody's out of food. Although I think some of those people are just now getting new food by having been in those cities. Yeah, sit in there and get some more. Why not? There we go. You guys get building. Wang Yue Ying can head for somewhere else. Yeah, so that's what you have to do. You have to, at the end of turn or something, you need to be sitting on a fort or a city and you get food. Seems obvious in retrospect. But I think we're going to push on with starving troops and finish off the last of the cities. Sorry, troops, you guys are going to have to starve. You guys are. No, you guys have food and morale, so you don't really need to stop. Just in case, I guess I'll start, uh. Marching more guys up here. 
they might as well use sabotage tactics on the last city that we that the enemy has. That's probably what I'll do. Everyone who isn't already here to sabotage constantly. It fails most of the time. There's only one enemy city left. But it's... There's some chance that it will help. Force the people to rebel! Yay! Or fail utterly! Yay! It might speed things up slightly. It's possible. And any damage to us these cities, I believe, will be permanent. At least until the campaign's over. Which, for our purposes, is permanent enough. <laughs> Dude, it's really doing no good at all for us, is it? Oh well. If this has been a complete waste of time, I can't waste too much more time with it, folks. It's going to run out of tactical points with most of these units pretty soon. Can't you guys march faster? You'd think that officers with high intelligence would be able to get these plots to work. No, it seems like these are mostly just a waste of your technique points. The only one that does any good is the one that raises your attack power. I don't even know how much it raises your attack power, but at least it always succeeds. So we're about to be out of technique points soon, and we haven't actually seen it work yet. It did work once for uh, Zhang Liao. He used it like 30 million times on Bay High, and eventually it worked. The Emperor is personally running around, although not doing a whole lot, trying to... Um, Personally, running down Cao Cao is Emperor Sun Tzu, who's actually going to live through the end of this thing. I'm quite pleased with that. I was uh, not so much worried about him getting captured and killed. I wasn't quite sure how the lifespan is going to work. Lifespan extension appears to have meant that everyone lives to 99, <laughs> so I had a decent amount of time to do this. I was still thinking I might not manage to accomplish it fast enough just because of my play style. But the thing is, in this game, it takes a really long time to do anything. But uh, it doesn't necessarily mean the game years are passing quickly. It just takes a long time to do things. Especially when you zoom in on every battle. When I started like only zooming in on battles where I was defending and trusting in the game's like innate ability for to make things go way fast or sorry, to make things go the way of the attackers at all times trusted that to work for me and not just for the computer then things sped up considerably. No, no. This is going to take a while, folks. Maybe the farther you are from the city, the harder it is to make it work, but either way, I don't think I'm going to bother with it anymore. And it's winter. We really suck if uh, Sun Tzu or Zhou Yu died now. I shouldn't even joke about that. I'll make it happen, but... bowser has got no place to go. I guess he could head over here to one of these camps. There we go. Yeah, 
have any place to go either. I can show you. I guess you could head back over here. Sorry, making him go this way and thinking that he might have to attack, but. Just skipping the turns, replenishing a lot of troops this way, and uh. Just about ready to finish this game. Yay! Jingzai's troop of our army has occupied Jiang Ping. And that's it, folks! That's the LP. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the ending scene next time. This has already been a really long video. So when we come back, folks, uh, you can't stop now. When we come back, the final episode of Let's Play Romance of Three Kingdoms 10 with the mysterious JG. And I managed to finish before Grimith popped up. Well, not before he popped up with his own LP, but I managed to finish before he suddenly finished his LP and just made me feel really bad. Anyway, um, hopefully it'll be posted by then, too. This is Mysterious JG. I want to thank you guys for watching, and when we come back, the exciting ending to this exciting and epic adventure. Bye-bye, folks. I'll see you then.